All right, guys. So what we got today, we have a quick workout that should be nice and effective with getting your heart rate up, especially with all this humidity, and it'll get you sweating. All right, so it's going to get you rocking, get you moving. We have four different exercises that this is going to include, four different exercises, but you're going to be doing them six times within a round, all right, six times within a round. We're starting off with the jump squat. Jump squat's going to be number one on this. But I'm, I'm going to have my partner here, Wayne Burns, he's going to demonstrate the modified version, and I'm going to demonstrate the full version. So we'll have both versions going. First one is the jump squat. He's going to be doing the triple extension, okay, the triple extension. So I'm going to have him pull down into a squat. He's going to drive and extend. So he goes up to his toes, and then he's going to pull down with his arms quickly. There you go, nice full speed. Boom. So he's getting a nice strong hip hinge pattern to act like he's jumping. We're not actually jumping, so that way we're not getting all that impact. So if you cannot handle impact on your knees, on your hips, or on your back, this is the exercise for you. The other exercise, or the uh, original version of that exercise, will be the prisoner jump squat. So we're gonna get in a prisoner position, pulling the elbows back. We want a big chest, driving to the ceiling, hands behind the head with my head tall, pushing up through the crown of my head to make sure I'm not yanking forward on my neck. Okay, so we'll sit here nice and tall, elbows back. I'm gonna drop into a deep squat as far as I can, jump it, and then land right back into a squat. Landing nice and soft on my knees. Do not land like this and cause all that compression inside the joint and inside your back. So make sure you're always landing with a soft knee, preferably going right back down to the bottom of your squat position, okay? The second exercise is high knees, high knees. Modified version will be a fast march, fast march, driving the arms, keeping a nice tall posture, minimizing impact. You're gonna be doing 20 reps on this, 20 reps <clears throat> total each leg, all right? So 20 reps total each leg, which is 40 if you're counting both legs. I know some of you like to count both legs because you think you're gonna get there faster, you're not, it's gonna be the same, okay? So 20 or 40, however you decide to count it. The, the high knees, for my version side, is gonna be here. Just pumping it out, get those knees nice and hot. Make sure I'm sitting here in a nice sprint mechanic, keeping the elbows roughly 90 degrees, hand to the back pocket, the other hand to the nose. Knee is coming above your belly button as you drive. Ah, almost lost my balance. As you drive, to make sure you're getting maximum benefit out of this. Do not do this and ex expect to get the benefits that you are going to actually get from this workout. And make sure you don't poke yourself in the eye. Yeah, that that's is critical. That's critical. It's happened twice, this is our third take, all right. <laughs> T push-ups are next. So we're gonna actually get two chairs. So I prefer you use chairs instead of going to your knees. But if it's still too difficult with the chairs, you will do the knee variation for that. So these chairs are not very sturdy. I prefer you to get something a little more sturdy than these chairs but I think we got it. I feel safe breaking weight, okay? <laughs> so he's gonna go down into his push-up, and he's gonna come back up, and he's gonna turn and pivot on his feet, reaching up to the sky nice and high, making a nice pretty T position, and then back down, coming up on the other side with that T position. He's gonna do 10 total push-ups. When we get into the workout, 10 total push-ups, <clears throat> maintaining nice, strong, correct posture through the core, making sure you're not sagging the hips or bubbling up your butt too high. Like I said, if your chairs are too low and you're not able to get into a good push-up position from there, make sure you go down to the floor, do a push-up on your knee, and then come up on your toes and then turn into that T position, okay? So the, the unmodified version is here, so I'm gonna drop all the way down to my push-up, touching chest to the floor, turning up, Pivoting my feet, reaching my hand as high as I can into that T position, bringing it back down, and turn and pivot. Make sure you don't rush this motion, get your hands in the right position, and make sure you're not cinching up on your neck or reaching your hands out too far, making sure you're cinching up in your neck, okay? Keep that chest tall, big strong alignment, making sure your hands are perpendicular or your arms are perpendicular to before when you're in that push-up. So we're doing five per side? Five per side with the reach, 10 total push-ups. So it's 10 total push-ups, five reaches per side, okay? <clears throat> After that, we go back to the high knees. So he'll do the march version. 
I'll do the high knee version, 20 reps again, 20 reps, counting one leg, 40 reps if you're counting both legs, okay? And then we're gonna go to a single leg bridge, single leg bridge. Modified version is gonna be from the floor. We'll have him lay down, he's gonna bend his knees 90 degrees, he's gonna kick one leg out nice and straight. At this point, he's driving his elbows down into the floor, squeezing his shoulder blades down into the floor. So we're getting that extension through the chest. And here he'll drive his hips up as far as he can 20 times. We're going 20 per leg on this, okay? That is beautiful. That's beautiful. <clears throat> then the next variation. You'll be using a chair, okay? So this is the original variation. We'll be utilizing a chair. You're gonna put your foot on the edge of that chair. Ooh. Sitting here, so we're gonna get more of the toe position instead of the heel. So I want the toe pressing down into that, squeezing my elbows back, big chest, driving and pinching my shoulder blades together. From here, I'm gonna extend up as far as I can and drop back down. I'm going to do 20 on these from this position with both legs as well. Okay. Make sure you use a stable chair again. Use a stable chair. We're professionals, so we can use more unstable ones. <laughs> <clears throat> and then we go back to those high knees one more time in this round. One more time in this round, which will be his march, and it'll be my high knees for 20 reps again, 40 each leg if you're counting each leg, and that'll be one solid round. We're going to be doing this three to five times uh, today, so make sure you've got a towel around you because you will most likely sweat on this. Are you guys ready? I think we're ready. We're going to do this with you right now. It's going to be amazing. We're just going to speed it up so you don't have to watch the whole thing.